Counters Butcher and Lodge. Nine metres the rooster side of halfway. Hunt now, and this is a moan up against Joey Manu. Dragged to ground. Angus Crichton, he'll be much better for today's run. It's good to see him back out there. The villain has got some blood spewing from a cut on his head. Slime through! Slime with a backhanded pass. Morgan for the corner. Oh, the young number one has ignited Anzac Day in spectacular fashion. <laughs> He's the man. We've seen some great young fullbacks. With speed, oh, this is the Emirates replay. Nothing doing here. There is absolutely nothing doing. Look at the speed. Ball in two hands gets through, and then the, oh, get, oh, the Gidley oh. flick out the back. That's Benji Marshall. The young fullbacks in the game at the moment. Hamaso. Look, he moves very similar. Look at that, the way he moves. Balance and speed. An X factor. Freddie. You were talking before about the strike players, Ben Hunt and Tyrell Sloan. The other player who had a minor hand in that was Jacob Little. He's come on late into the game, but great dummy half, got great vision, moved the ball nice and quickly to the danger man when he needed to get it. He's someone that maybe should have been on a bit earlier, but makes him very dangerous for the last 30 minutes. Well, look, the ball moved across it, and there was nothing doing. There was nothing organised out here on the right. And they just pretty much threw it to Sloan and said, yeah, do your best. He beat two players, got another one involved. Beautiful flick out the back. And they're back, the Dragons. Yeah, Luke Keary just couldn't handle the long levers of Sloan. Not only did he miss the tackle, he then tripped over his own man who was in pursuit. Daniel Tupé tripped over Keary. And Monga got a free run to the line. Drag it back. Jack Lomax can't uh, bring the gap back to eight points. Andrew, that pass, it looks spectacular. Can you describe? How difficult that is. He's Wait, pulled through tackles. He's at full pace. And Stay it's a on. backhander to a man against the sideline. Well, I'd say by the look of that, he's done that sort of play his whole life. He's just got that X factor. He just needs to back himself more. We saw in the charity shield at the start of the year, he had a shocker. and He was really emotional. The troll went and patted him on the back. He's got the tools to be a special player. Tyrell Sloan, he just needs to believe in himself. He's got so much talent. Well, can he win the game with the Dragons? He's been so dangerous when he's had the ball all afternoon. But when they tire, gee, what a, what a weapon. Now, Bird, he was being dragged back, but he kept going forward. He persevered. Now, Little with a run. Danica breaking news. Jack DeBellin has just come from the field for a head injury assessment. They have just categorised it, though, uh, as a Category 2, so he still is a chance Here's to return. Here's Surly. Surly's got Sloan on the inside. Sloan for the line. He steps the ball. Tyrell Sloan, come on down. New game, baby. It's a new game. It's one of those games where the Roosters have probably felt they're a 30-point better side all day. Probably felt comfortable about it. But you've got to look at the real scoreboard, baby. Doesn't matter what it feels like. What is it? It's about to be a four point. Saw on the weekend the Titans and the Dolphins. 
The kick is successful. Now Daniel Tupo is coming from the field here. That's a massive blow. We'll uh, get Danica on the case, but in the meantime, Brad Fittler's got a special guest. Yeah, good mate of mine, Damien Tomlinson, wrote a wonderful book without warning. Commando, served for Australia. He's a mad Rooster fan. I've got to say, firstly, what does Anzac Day mean to you? Uh, I mean, it's, it's just good to reflect. I mean, good to reflect on the importance of family and the importance of friends in situations where you're in need. You know, it's how, how Australia turned up. So. What about today? You're a mad footy head. What's it like? What are you feeling out here at the moment? Oh, mate, it's awesome. This new stadium is just unbelievable. And I mean, at least the Dragons are making a game of it. We'll run away, but they're, they're giving it a crack. I like your confidence. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Brad. Remarkable man, Damien Tomlinson. He typifies bravery and perseverance. 26-22! Well, Penalties! Well, the, the Roosters left edge with that injury to Tupo. You've got Luke Keary and Drew Hutchison defending together on this left side. Up against Murdoch Masilla and Moses Suley. Now there's a target for the Dragons. Daniel Tupo injured himself in the chase there on Sloan. When he turned back to chase in field, something happened on the way and he fell to the ground in a lot of pain. Now yeah, Ben Hunt is going to go straight there. That's the side. Just keep pumping away that side for the Dragons. For the first time today, this Dragon side looks like it believes. They've been bunched up and, and a haggard looking lot. That they've got they've got the better of the roosters right at the moment and this kid's slow. What a finish to Anzac Day. Here's little here's a, a moan across the ground. And Ben Hunt. Oh, that might take a bit of wind out of the side. That was ugly. Yes, Brad. And to be honest, Matt, it's most the first time today that the Dragons fans have believed as well. I think for the first 50, they've just been hoping that their team were going to turn it around. But they believe now. Well, the Ro Roosters, they're going to keep playing here, keep using the ball. Super on. Popular figure here at the Roosters, and great to see him back. First game since round 18 last year. And Victor Radley's going to dummy half. Manu with a kick for Jackson Polo. Oh, oh, it was a photo finish. I think Sloan might have got his hand to it first. He scores them at one end, and he saved one here. Yeah, the ball just bounced a little too high for Sloan to get to it quickly. Nice kick from Manu. Looks like Paulo's got it. Sloan was able to get there and get the tons to the ball. Well, it's a 20 metre tap. Oh, overturned. Paulo got his hand to it last. Hey, Brad, uh, I'm wondering how far away is Jared Wairia Hargreaves? Is he itchy on the bench, the big dog? Yeah, I'm just coming down to have a look now. Yeah, he's so you got Brandon Smith there. Jared doesn't seem to be on the bench. Here he is. He's up. He's, he's warming he's up. He's stalking. Yeah, he wants a piece of the Here action. He is. Give me the hand spray. Oh, this could be interesting. And Danica, you got some news while we're down there. Yes, this is far from ideal for the Roosters. We do have confirmation from their medical staff that Daniel Tupo has done a hamstring and he will not be back into the action today. All right. Here's Ben Hunt. Ooh, nearly got through there. Amon, Amon, Amon! Dragged down by a desperate Victor Radley who's conceded six more tackles. The Red Bear sprinting towards the finish line. 16 short. Jacob Little. Jack Bird. Zach Lomax. Oh, an off-road. No one was watching. Amon's got the ball. He gets dumped into the ground by Tupinu. Oh, that was a try-saving effort. Ben Hunt and Blake Laurie pushes it out now to Sloan. And now with Suley, Hutchison missed him. It's a try! Oh, Morgan in the corner. He's done something to his head. The referee says try. The bunker will have a look, but it could be 26 each. 
Ah, new game. By Suzu MUX replay. Watch the work here from Moses Surly at the end of this. Sloan just gets it to Surly. In bang, in bang, in bang. Then deft little pass oh. to Bonger. Now, does he get it down? Palm off, palm off, get out of my way. Nice pass, should be no problem. This will show it, does he get it down? Yes! That's a try, pretty. Yeah, there's some great work done in the middle of the field. The big front row of Blake Laurie, we saw a try in the first half of a front row of Jared Buddy Hargreaves. Just watch the work of Blake Laurie here, goes to the line, doesn't actually run behind his player, Finds Sloan again, and off they go down the right hand side. If he keeps running there, oh. it ends up the Roosters' ball. And Tao Tai trying to work out what he's done to his wrist here. Just hold on because the referee's been told to wait. Yeah, they're looking, not looking at obstruction, are they? Oh, he's walked away. He's walked away. That's I think a we're try. good. I think we're good. That is the first hat trick in the 21 years of this Anzac. Clash. Well, the last kick from this area, Zach Lomax put the ball out about a metre to the right of that right post. He goes really hard at the ball. Doesn't get much draw on the ball. His target is right on that right upright. But when he hits it, he goes all in. There's no timing. He just gives it everything. And if he kicks it, Geez, that's a good angle. You'll hear the Dragons fans in Wollongong. They're about to blow the roof off the New Orleans. Who'd have thought the Dragons could take the front? 20 to play, Lomax from the sideline. He's hooked it badly at 26 each. Coming this May, Stories of Origin, the podcast returns. It's Series 2, and the legends of Australia's greatest sporting rivalry will relive their most memorable Origin performances. Stories of Origin, the podcast, Season 2, available from Monday, May 1, wherever you get your podcasts. Yep. Wait for the clock. Well, the first 60 minutes meant nothing. It's now a 20-minute game. OK, time it. 26 all. The equal highest scoring Anzac Day game ever as well. And one of the best is Laurie. With a brutish return, he got thumped. But he got it back to the 20. And Surly, what a second half he's had. This is as good as it gets. The Dragons have been phenomenal out of the halftime break. Big dogs out there. I'm going to hunt to Sloan to Murdoch Basilla. Hutchison and Kiri combined in the tackle, but one would imagine they'll have a lot of traffic headed their way. Roosters players will be shaking their head. The coach will be shaking his head. A couple of times they've threatened to blow this lead right away and skip out to a big number. But the Dragons have reeled them in in super quick time. Danica, what can you tell us about the crowd? It's a, it's a memorable day for anyone that's here. It is, it is a great crowd, a great atmosphere. Things are getting quite intense down here on the sideline. We have just been given the official crowd number. 40,191 fans in here. And oh. here we go for this last bit. Thanks, Danica. I haven't seen where Hargreaves picked up like that in a long time. Here's Kiri. Now, Swali, he, he's trying to navigate a passage to the ball. Oh, we had a catch on it. He knocked it on six ball. There was a dragon hand. No, 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 he's knocked that on. Yeah, oh, the line can... Come off him. They come down first. Now Moga, he looks like he's gone. Oh, Holding that right shoulder. Courageous effort. 
Yeah, it's the first time he's had to use it since scoring the try, and he's he's very uncomfortable. And so as AC joins, can't get your your arms up. Well, the wingers are so hard to replace; so they're, they're hoping he can see it out. The positive they've got is they can move Jack Bird to a centre. Tapped hard into the ground. And they want a penalty and they get one for a high shot. Just oh, he's not well, just my well side either. Side. I wonder if penalty oh. is all this will be. This replay Jack. will be very oh, telling. Lindsay, Lindsay, come up. Oh, it's a head close. Yeah. Head close. Just take him he's back. Already the first just take him back. He's already in the first half. Wait. Tell him. Then he's asking why it's a penalty. Oh. And how's it a penalty? It's an accidental head cut. So it's in the head. That's head to head. No. <laughs> it's been reviewed, shoulder to the head. That's a hat trick. Three and three games. Can we have a look at that again, please? No. It's been reviewed. It's also said he's rising on contact. If that was anyone else, it would be no. no we're not going down. We're not going down that path. We're not going down that head. What are we supposed to do there? It's a head clash. Now that, that can't be a penalty. Where, it where's the a shoulder Sydney. to a head? So because of that, Molo's off the ground for HIA. Jay, here is on. Here's the replay. Here it is. He hits and spins. Back contact as well. If anything, <laughs> it is Molo okay, that causes then. the head clash because he hits and props and twists and turns around. Danica, what can you tell us? Well, the Dragons are just yeah. about to receive a big boost as well. Jack DeBellin has cleared his head injury assessment and he'll be returning into the action for his final 16 minutes. Let go. Well, Let everything's go. going with the Dragons now. Finishing fuller running. The Roosters look shell shocked. They look absolutely stunned by what's happened in the last 15 minutes. I reckon there's 41,000 people in a little stunned. This is a different team to the, the Dragons of the first half. Murdoch Masilla. Oh, he wanted to pop one. Where are we? 16 minutes to go. There's an age to go yet. Jaden Hunt. What a time for your introduction Please. to the game. 26 all. This is as good an Anzac game as we have ever seen. Here's Sully. Within 20 of the Roosters line. Little for a moment. Now Bird's running through at speed. He got up and tapped back. Oh, who was that? Was that Martin? Drag, it sits at goal line dropout coming. Let's go sideline, Jenny. Yeah, well, the Roosters have got two choices here. The first one is they can use that sim bin as an excuse. Well, they can live up to the day and have some spirit and win one of the great Anzac days. It's really up to them. I still think they have the talent, they have the team. They just need to turn momentum. Here they go. Here's their first. This is the turn. Yeah. Over here. The momentum changer. Mark that one down. Now they've still got to get out of their own end. Here come the Dragons defenders. Get that in here. Roosters look shell shocked. Whoa! Nearly through. He is through. Smith. The cheese reveling in Anzac. They lost the ball. It was the Swiss cheese again. Oh, Mr. Intensity. <laughs> He's just a million miles an hour. And there he is, launching himself at Zach Lomax. Jaden Hunt. Tackled by Smith and Collins. Well, they've got the ice baths ready for both teams after this. This has been...
British. Good tackle to Benoer on the villain. Now little scamp has left. Amon came around the back of it. He's looking about the big man. He kicked through for Sloan. Sloan puts it on the boot. I think he missed it. That would have been one of the greatest Anzac Day tries ever. Little, little. Well, Gus spoke about it. They played a lot of footy together. As soon as he got that ball, Amon, Tyrell Sloan was fired out of a cannon. Geez, that combination is going to build in years to come. That was breathtaking. Close enough here. Do they think about the one already? No, with I the think player so. in the bin? Yeah. Take it early. They're easy to take early. So that's four tackles. And Kiri's tackle. He'd have to be the man, wouldn't he? Manu. Yeah. Manu. Yeah, it'd be Kiri. Oh, and he got a pass back. Brandon Smith sends it away to Tedesco. Teddy with one. Teddy with two left foot steps. Back for Smith. They're trying to promote the ball. Smith comes back to the left hand edge. He bounced off Ben Hunt. Last Tackled one. 19 out. Oh. It's a cross kick coming. The outside men have all got their arms up. It gets to Keary. Up it goes. It's pinpoint accurate. Polor gets up. The ball goes over the head. Play of the ball. Fine and in the touch. What a game. Middle play the what ball. What a finish we got. Oh, it's incredible. How long have we got left on the sin bin? Five minutes, 46. Wow. Well, it feels like an hour ago he went off. It. If the team's got a player in the sin bin, the opposition team, they've got to keep playing. It doesn't matter if they're on your own 20. If they've got a man down defensively, you have to exploit it. Can't be just thinking, work it out for a kick. Keep moving the ball. Even an offload, an offload can kill you when you've got 12 men. Right inside to Ben Hunt. Five out from the halfway. Here's a mode. And across to the bell and all. He plays on to Couchman. He, he lost the ball into a Roosters defender. And hits the ground. He had a dummy and take a bruise Change there, hands Jack and Changes hands hits the ground. The pass was never on. I'm looking at these Roosters players as to who's got the energy to, oh. to maybe pluck a game winner. So the only player out there for the Roosters that's kicked a field goal, Gus, is Luke Keary. Yeah. Get our six. You'd imagine Suwali'i could do it. Yeah. On, I'd imagine go. Mano thinks he can do it. I don't know if he can, but he'd think he could. Thinks he can do everything. I think it's the running threat of Joseph Manu. Tiring forwards. Yeah, that's it. Work and defend. I don't think one point will be enough for the Roosters. I think they need a try. I, I can just see St George scoring another try. I don't think Roosters can win this by a point. Four minutes remaining on the sin bin of Victor Radley. Collins, how's that for defence? There's some steel in that now. Kiri to Egan Butcher. He gets dumped. Now let's see what they're thinking here. Tackle four. Kiri for Tedesco. Well, he can take the one if he wants it. Don't think they're setting for it. It goes to Kiri. He kicks it up in the air. Swally is coming. Up they fly. He had a catch on it. It's battered down. The Dragons struggle with the ball and they're tackled in the end goal. He was coming at pace there, Swally. -E. Great kick. What a great kick. Ten point accurate. Luke Carey on the run. He's so good at this. He can be running at top speed, but still with deft touch to land it on a dime. Now do the Dragons look to play short and get the ball back? It's on your run. You do. You risk a penalty in front. Well, you've got 13 defenders, you've got to back your defence, kick it down the field as far as you can. It'd be brave to go short, wouldn't it? Oh, he shanked it. That was the short long one. Not the long short one. I think
think Marissa needs a try. Oh, oh he's dropped the ball! So clock on. Look at the reaction of the Dragons. They didn't need that. Advantage Dragon. That's why Rhea Hargreaves as well. Sloan and Amone. That's your combination. They've done this plenty of times as kids. Can they bring it to the big stage? One of the biggest stages. That's Charles Moses. Really good. Oh, he's huge. Oh, he's run untamed all afternoon. Now, Laurie. Up square, right side. How long's Victor got? A minute 41. Out to Bird. Oh, he bumped away from Momorowski. And Smith, and offloaded to Little. And it comes to a moan. And he's over the halfway. He tried to have a second grab, too. Keary eventually shut him down. It goes to Sloan. And Sully. Oh, he's, got, he's gone. Oh, he kept it in. And it came off a rooster leg. And it bounced out on the sideline. Well played the ball. Where do you want it? Play it. Yeah, rooster, rooster play the ball. Play the ball, Roosters. Good defence there by the Roosters. 12 men. They're working hard for each other. Dragons running them around, but they're, they're getting across the field. They're trusting each other. Good defence. Have they got the energy in attack? Let's go. I don't know if the other team would have the energy to go to Golden Point, would they? It's on the cards. Freddie. Yeah, well, there's only 40 seconds left. Victor Radley has come out from the dressing sheds. He's on the sideline. She'll be back to 13 each soon. Is that 10 sim bins for Victor in the past couple of years? I think it's a modern day record, they were, they were saying before the game. If he goes again, it's, it's more sin bits than anyone of the modern era. And he'll be back on with still got seven minutes to go yet. It goes to Kiri. Kiri leads to a hole. Great tackle. That was Shaden Hunt. A desperate tackle. Now Smith for Tedesco. Might he crack this open? Developing around the legs. Last play. Kiri setting up for the field goal. Oh, Marnie went away from him. Now gives it back to him. He drags them all in. Kiri's kick is through. They're ahead, 27-26. It nearly, it nearly fell apart, but Marnie got it back there in time. And call as you like. Yeah, you just don't know with Joey, Manu. He might have just planned that to give Kiri more time. He's a funny dude. Kiri nails it. Straight down the middle. Funny as in ha 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 funny or just a bit? Yeah, no, funny, funny, funny. Stand up funny. Funny, funny. He does funny That's things. Funny. I, I think he... Rather than just throw it to Keir, he said, I'll play with you for a little bit and now I'll give it to him. All the roosters were up expecting... Oh, sure. look out! Oh! Boom! Bird and Maria Hargreaves have been into it all day. Six to play. I think there's another twist here somewhere. Yeah, I think Dragons have still got to try in them. I've said, I don't think I'm trying to win. It'll be a monumental effort if they can do it. They've come through the 12 man stage. Good run. Here's Tedesco. Another inspired charge by the captain. Kikiri get them home. That's off Momorowski's hand and it's picked up by Sloan. Oh, and he gives a pass to Hunt. Nice work. Moses Empire's back on the field. He hasn't got the speed that he used to and he's dragged out from behind. But they're on the front foot. Suli. Surly bus tackles. He gets to Radley and he brings him down within a couple of the halfway. Here we go. DeBellin. Drags the defenders. Wants a quick play of the ball. Jacob Little. Couchman. And an out away to Amon. He's half through a gap. He had the prop and come back. He gave it to Ben Hunt. Hunt's still in Blake. Laurie won't run. He's 
throwing defenders off his back. He gets the lodge, he beat him as well. Bradley got him uh, out of the way. Full tackle now. I think Ben Hunt wants to level this at 27 all. That's what he was telling them, get me to the posts. Oh, it'll be a massive kick if he could do it from here. He wants to dash at them. Oh no, the ball's been lost. He was going to have a crack to Ben Hunt. A real ball plant. Oh, he's done long. Oh, he's going to challenge. How big a call is this? Well, he's confident, right, Jack us. Bird. So this could, could this be Captain a rake? Captain from Dragons. I've ruled a ball plant, didn't get to his feet properly. He got my With arm. balance and control. He got my arm, made me lose the balance. What? Now, is there, is there crowding, as they call? Is Jack, there Byrne, a hand on it? Jack Bird begins to play the ball process with his hand on the ground, which is a ball plant. He then fails to maintain balance and control and loses the ball. The challenge is unsuccessful. So he's, he's tried to play it too early. Is that the... Too early, yes. You've got to stand to your feet before you put the ball on the ground. It happens a hundred times a game. It's a ball plan. That's the exact nature of the rule. Jack Bird was trying to play the ball too early. Lindsay Collins had hold of his legs. What a finish. What a finish. Both these teams come into this game with two losses on the trot. Both teams looking for form. On the biggest stage that we can ask for all year, Anzac Day. Traditional rivals, traditional game. It's a ball plant. He's got a 26 all with four minutes to play. The Dragons wish it was Anzac Day every week the way they play on this day. Well, we said that this could be the one that, you know, fires off their season for them. Look at the crowd. Always been great rivals, these two great clubs, and the, and the fans love it. The fans have always loved the rivalry. The big red V up against the Roosters. Where's the twist? I don't think any Rooster fan feels comfortable with four minutes to go. The Dragons will be charging to force a mistake if they possibly can. Radley into a rattling shot. Now launch. Get up, Jacob! He's up over the halfway. Brandon Smith and Egan Butcher. One of the best games of his career this afternoon. Tedesco down a left-hand edge. Tries to push away from the first tackle, but can't. He's put down 29 out from the Dragons line. Here's Kiri. He's going to kick back to Swali'i. And uh, he's got a running leap at it. He got up. He knocked it on. And Embi's back there to get it. But, uh, they're going to make them go the best part of 90 metres. Three Time minutes off. to play. Wait, time's off. I've got to get back. Just wait. Here's Michael Molo. I swear to the white. Please. Own monster. He's been great today, at man. And suddenly the Dragons look stuck in the mud down there into the ground. The narrowest of margins. The Roosters trying to hang on. This is the side the Dragons have had all their success and solely. Hutchison drags him down. Good tackle. Moses Embi, long pass. Ben Hunt in the middle of the ground. Oh, we nearly dropped that. It was a good catch in the end by Bird, but he's going backwards. You've got to go the other way, Jack. And he goes behind his man. He's got to stop. Fifth tackle. Not the set they wanted. Hunt's going to run it. He gets away from one, pops it over the top. Lomax rolls it through. Captain Courageous is there. And he's broken away. What a game. What a game. Well, he's injured himself, Ben Hunt. They're going to get one set, maybe. 
close enough and Kiri can get it to the end goal, yeah. they mightn't get another chance. Yep. Brandon Smith. He's been enormous today, Brandon Smith. Oh, that's hurt him. Although the clock might have something to do with that reaction. With a minute to go, the Roosters play it, and Kiri, he's going to kick it over the sideline, so they're going to get one last try. They've got to go the distance. 90 metres, Wait. Wait. six one plays, Wait. 45 yep. seconds. Amon, where's Sloan? Do they kick for Sloan? What do they do? He's the way, he's got the speed. Run. Who is that? That was Couchman. And this is the bell that oh! dropped the ball. In fact, that was Couchman who dropped it. That was Jaden Hunt, the previous one. And that's going to extinguish the Dragons' hopes. One oh, point oh. will be the difference on Anzac Day. The highest scoring game on Anzac Day in 21 renewals of this classic contest. And this might be the best of them all. Lindsay Collins, a warrior with blood streaming from his head. James Tedesco, he gets his first try of the year on Anzac Day. But the Dragons fans, they feel, they feel shattered by the outcome, but they have rattled home and they've nearly achieved what many thought was impossible at half time. As it is, the Roosters scrape home on the back of a Luke Keary field goal. Roosters 27 over the Dragons 26.